Hello everybody, my name is Imari Riley and I'm a member of the Elite Chapter of the Mobile Kappa League and today we'll be reading For Love or Money by Wendy Wax. Timmy Turner should have been cleaning his room today. Instead, he was listening to his friendly godparents argue. Nag, yo, Cosmo. I am not a nag, shot at Wanda. What's that noise, called Mrs. Turner. She opened the door. Timmy Turner, she yelled. This place is a mess. Just wait until your father gets home. I am home, said Mr. Turner. You are so pretty when you are angry, he told Mrs. Turner. And you are so handsome when you say I am pretty, said Mrs. Turner. They began to dance. Wow, did you see that, Timmy asked Cosmo and Wanda. When Dad got all mushy, Mom forgot that she was angry. Well, I am still angry, said Wanda. Let's dance, sweetie, said Cosmo. I would love to, Wanda said. Wow, said Timmy. Love really does make anger go away. Timmy, your mom and I cannot stop dancing, said Mr. Turner. Guess who is coming to watch you? Mrs. Turner called as they danced around the room. Just then, Vicky stormed into the house. You have two choices, she said. Clean all the toilets in the house or drink out of them. But I am not thirsty and I am not a dog, Timmy cried. That's it, Timmy said to his fairly godparents. I wish Vicky had a boyfriend, someone romantic to make her forget to be mean. Poof, the doorbell rang. Vicky opened the door. What do you want, she snapped. I am Ricky and you are cute, said a boy. Want to buy a magazine? You stole those magazines from the Turner's mailbox, said Vicky. But you are handsome, she flashed him a smile. Timmy went to the door. Hey, what is going on? He asked. Go to bed, twerp, said Vicky and Ricky at the same time. It's working, said Timmy. Vicky and Ricky are in love. I am taking your mother out, said Mr. Turner. Where is Vicky? She is outside with her new boyfriend, said Timmy. Sweet, said Mr. Turner. With two babysitters, we could stay out twice as long. But, but having two babysitters is no fun. I wish they would break up, said Timmy. The rules say we cannot break up true love, Wanda reminded him. Only fake love. Maybe their love is fake, said Timmy. If it is, then we will have to prove it, said Wanda. Timmy and his godparents spied on the lovebirds. Do you babysit a lot, Cupcake? Ricky asked. I sure do, Cookie, said Ricky. Then you must be rich, said Ricky. See, whispered Timmy, Ricky does not really love Vicky. He only likes her for her money. But she loves him, said Wanda. I will have to break them up myself, said Timmy. To the internet. Timmy ran upstairs to his room and turned on his computer. I will find Rick Ricky a rich new girlfriend, he said. Wanda helped him post an ad on the internet. It said, nice, sweet, single teen male seeks girl with tons of money. You have got mail, said the computer. Hey, Ricky, called Timmy. Check this out. Ricky came and read, single teen beauty wants to share millions. Hi, handsome, said a voice in the computer. I am Darcy. If you want to be rich, click on I do and marry me. Ricky clicked on I do. I now pronounce you man and wife, said the computer. I'm rich, shouted v Ricky. Hey, what about Vicky, asked Timmy. Who, asked Ricky. Your girlfriend, said Timmy. Oh, yeah, said Ricky, getting up. I cannot wait to tell her the news. Ricky hurried downstairs. I missed you, sweetie, said Vicky. And I miss my rich new wife, who I just married, said Ricky. And he left. Vicky stood at the door crying. I want my money, Ricky called. And he got to Darcy's house. And I want my first married kiss, Darcy said. No way, you are Mr. Crocker's mother, said Ricky. But at least you are rich. Not anymore, said Mr. Crocker. Mommy spent all her money years ago, stepdad. Meanwhile, things were back to normal at the Turner's house. Wow, Timmy said. Wanda. 
Wow, I'm sorry. Wow, Timmy, said Wanda. You really broke them up. Suddenly, they heard banging in the next room. And now Vicky is a madder than ever, said Cosmo. Where are you, twerp? yelled Vicky. Don't just sit there, Timmy and Cosmo. Run. The Turners came home feeling happy. Then Mrs. Turner saw Timmy's room. Timmy Turner, she yelled, clean your room or you will be grounded for life. The end.